Hi, in today's video we'll be reviewing Versa VPN. Now Versa VPN is a VPN service or virtual private network service that was launched in 2010 and they are based in Manila, Philippines. Uh, Versa VPN, uh, ever since they started they've been uh, expanding their network, uh, adding new features, to ensure full online security, online privacy, and online freedom to all their users. Uh, now, compared to other uh, big names in the market, uh, Versa VPN might not be as big or as popular of a name. However, it has made a really good name for itself ever since it started. Now, as you can see, starting off with their website, very neat, very professional, tells you everything you need to know about the service, about their features. Starting off, they have, uh, you can connect up to uh, three uh, connections, they have port forwarding, and they provide proxy services. Uh, they use, un uh, their network is SSL secured with a 256-bit encryption, which is, considered or referred to as military grade encryption they have uh, a customer support uh, live chat however at the moment it is not 24 7 uh, because as you can see they are offline and only they give you uh, uh, the ability to send them an email uh, so this might not be one of the one of their strong points uh, they have a 10-day money-back guarantee provided. Uh, they have two kinds of services, something called the premium VPN and the dedicated VPN. Premium VPN is like any other VPN, uh, allows all the features, all that. Now, dedicated VPN, now let's take a look at first the premium VPN and its pricing and what it offers. So here it is. The premium VPN has three plans. Uh, the monthly plan, which is $5.50 a month. Uh, the quarterly plan, which is $15 uh, per three months. So that's about $5 a month. And the yearly plan, which is $25 a year, which is almost two, uh, I'd give it two, uh, $2 a uh, uh, two dollars a month so it's it's really cheap it's a really good price now what comes with each and every plan now they all look pretty much the same yes they are uh, all the same now uh, more than access to more than 60 servers around the world uh, uh, shared IPs uh the protocols now they use open vpn pptp and l2tp protocols unlimited bandwidth unlimited uh, server switching uh up to four port forwarding and up to three sim simultaneous connections or three three devices can be connected to the same uh vpn subscription through the same vpn subscription now that pricing is pretty impressive actually Let's take a look. Oh, yes, and one more thing. In their website, what I really liked is that anywhere you go in the website, you'll find something called the control panel, which you can move from there to anywhere else. Now, usually, in other sites, it's, it's located here on the top. Here, it gives you more of a, a control of what you're viewing. So, wherever you scroll down in the page, you'll have the control panel next to you right here to go to different parts of the website okay now let's go back home take a look at the features now in this video we'll be reviewing their uh, services their their um, their application we'll be trying it out running DNS uh, leak tests on different servers and seeing their bypassing capabilities now let's take a look at the dedicated VPN and its plans and the dedicated VPN provides its users to connect to dedicated servers uh, and so providing them with a dedicated IP which is dedicated only to them. They're not shared from, you don't share IPs from a pool of IPs. No, they have their own dedicated IP. Some users prefer that, some others don't. 
uh, other, uh, the people that prefer that probably think that this is uh, better as no one else will use their same IP address and they'll have it only to them and that will make it less predictable. Uh, however, uh, what I would recommend or what we would recommend is that the shared IP is always better as it uh, provides more um, anonymity, online anonymity. And let's take a look at the dedicated uh, VPN plans. Starting off with the dedicated IPs from Asia, Asia dedicated IPs. So these are the countries here, uh, right here. Okay, Japan, Philippines, Korea, and Singapore. It's for fifteen dollars a month. And then there's the Americas dedicated IP, which is the U.S. and Canada. That's fifteen dollars a month and uh, Europe dedicated IP, which includes uh, Austria, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Netherlands, Russia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the UK. Now, these are the dedicated IP plans. Other than that, they provide you with uh, a connection to your own dedicated server with your own dedicated IP. They're pretty much everything else is the same. The same protocols, OpenVPN, PPTP, and L2TP, unlimited uh, bandwidth, unlimited um, uh, speed, uh, up to uh, four port forwarding, and up to three simultaneous connections at the same time. Okay, now that's the difference between the dedicated IP plans or the dedicated plan VPN plans and uh, the premium uh, VPN plans. But what we're going to try out today is the premium VPN plans and the application and how good it is. Okay, so let's first go back to the home page and download the application and give it a run. Okay, but first, before that, they have a really good knowledge base here, how-tos. It's a knowledge base site. gives you tutorials, different technical tutorials for different uh, operating systems and different, different devices. They have an FAQ section. Okay, moving back. Okay, now the network part section, of course, tells you all their servers and what protocols each and every server supports. Pretty basic, but it is useful to know which server you want to uh, connect to, which server is better than the other. If you want to connect to, uh, to if you want to connect through a certain or specific protocol. This list will be very helpful, and also uh, these are the server uh, addresses. If uh, uh, if you connect, or if you're setting up the connection manually on on your computer without the use of the application, uh, this address will help you for each server. Okay, now enough about the website. Let's uh, dive into the application itself. download okay windows vpn software client this is because we're using windows 10 so this is the one that we want to download save okay and just let it take its time to download Let's go back to the home page while it downloads and take a quick look at the other features. Okay. So here are some of their features. They have DDoS protection. Uh, they support torrent downloads. Uh, they have built-in anti-malware on the network of servers, 60 servers in over 20 countries. And what other sites uh, say about them? Live chat with us, 
that's pretty much it. a small about us section right here where they're based when they started okay let's go back to the top and the sign up page right here let's just take a quick look at it so you pick your plan for example let's say if we're gonna pick a monthly plan we click on order now okay and it's it's as easy as any online shopping uh, website it's that simple so uh, either you go to if you have a, a promo code or a promotion code or a voucher you enter the code here uh, if not you just ch click on checkout enter your uh, details uh the payments and all that and uh you're done it's it's very simple very easy okay let's go back to the home page and now that it's downloaded we're gonna go through the installing procedure yes so it asked me for the administrator's uh, uh permission to uh, uh install it i just clicked on yes create a desktop shortcut sure why not let's go next install launch versa vpn yes definitely and yes launch it now here is how the interface looks like uh, of the application itself you enter your credentials here that you use to sign up when signing up for an account you enter it here you log in and you start using the application now let's take a let's first log in and then uh, take a look at the application so the username and the password login and we are logged in now it opened the package for us what it looks like all that and which servers here is this is how simple it is it's just a drop down menu you choose the server that you want to connect to for example let's choose Germany okay and then here you choose the protocol that you want to connect through open VPN or PPTP or L2TP let's keep it at open VPN that is the most secure one you can minimize it on connect so as soon as it connects the application minimize it and you uh, go ahead uh, continue with using your uh, internet and everything uh, if not you just keep it unchecked let's take a look at the settings settings are pretty simple run in windows startup so when your windows starts up you can start running have the application running right away uh start minimize so it can start but it can stay minimized so it doesn't open just uh it just stays running in the background um a login on application startup so once you uh, start the application if you checked on the box on remember me and you wanted to just log in as soon as you open the application that this box you check it reconnect if connection is dropped so if for any reason the connection uh, the internet connection drops and so the VPN connection dropped once you uh, regain a connection uh it, uh it automatically reconnects number of attempts so number of attempts if there's something wrong with the connection and it's unable to connect this you can choose how many attempts you want it to uh make to connect before uh before it gives up and just disconnects completely and uh reconnect timeout so give it the time uh, uh to that it takes to reconnect if it doesn't reconnect within that time it just cuts it that's the same thing for pptp and l2tp connection let's take a look at advanced so this is in advanced it's the proxy service here mostly and custom routing port forwarding you can control that from here and then there's just an about us section okay and general let's go back to general give it a test run here to connect to germany and connect okay it's connected right now and it gave you the ip the shared ip 
Okay, let's minimize it and give it a quick DNS leak test. Okay, Germany, so sorry. Right now, it looks pretty good. Let's try a standard test. Okay, now we talked before about the DNS leak test. Now, these results, they're not bad, but they're not the best. In the sense that, okay, now, if there is an actual DNS leak, it will, one of these locations will be your actual location. Now, that means that there's a DNS leak. Now, since these locations are not, none of them are your exact location or the location that we're connected to right now, so there is no DNS leak. However, since it's not the exact location that you're connected to, then it's not an accurate uh, uh, VPN connection. So there's, it's not as accurate as other, uh, other VPN providers that we tried. Okay, moving on from there, let's go back to the application and let's try connecting to a, a different server. But before that, let's give it one last shot, uh, extended test. Okay, now that the test came back with the results, let's take a look at them. Okay, so none of them are our exact location. However, none of them are the location that we are actually connected to, but they are close enough. So that, I would give it a good, that would that would be considered good results, but not the best or not excellent results. They're just good. But the point is there are no DNS leaks with the connection. Okay, let's try connecting to a different server disconnect okay and let's pick something in a different area so let's get let's step out of uh, Europe for a moment okay let's try uh, so Okay, let's try US server. New York. There we go. And connect. Okay, it didn't connect to the US. It switched automatically to Australia. Let's try another server in the US. Maybe this server does not support OpenVPN, even though on the website they said that all servers support OpenVPN. But it doesn't matter, we'll try the other New York server. Okay, connect. Ah, uh, didn't connect. Okay, disconnect. Let's try. So we know that that Australia server will connect, but we want to try something in the U.S. Also to try any bypassing capabilities. Okay, let's try Los Angeles, for example, L.A. Okay, so it seems that it's connecting to L.A. Fine. Perfect, we are connected. Okay, let's run another DNS leak and check out the results. Los Angeles, United States. Okay, let's try the standard test. Uh, not bad, United States, United States. But it gave us more than one result, but that's not an issue as long as the location is fine but in the end still no dns leaks which is really good okay let's try and extend the test okay we have also good results nothing bouncing anywhere else okay 
even though it's more than one IP that it hit, but still not bad, still no leaks. Pretty good. Let's try its bypassing capabilities while we're connected to the US. Now, let's try accessing something. First of all, let's disconnect to show you what it looks like uh, a geo restriction. Okay, we're disconnected. Minimize it. Let's try accessing something like HBO Go. And that's only accessible inside the US. Yes, and when you try accessing it from outside of the US, this is the error it gives you. Okay, now let's try connecting to the server again. LA. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try Chicago. Connect. Okay, Chicago is connected. Now let's try accessing HBO Go again. Let's see what it did for HBO Go. Rock. And we are in. It didn't give us the error or anything. We have full access to HBO Go. So good bypassing capabilities. Okay, let's that. Go back to our application. Okay, now just to uh, let's take a look at the about section. This is all about the version that you're using, the company, how to, uh, the email, all that, and the tap driver and tap adapter. And client area. Opens the client area on the website. However, I wanted to show you something on the website here. On the download page, you can download even, you don't have to download, it's not only for the application for different, it's also for the configuration files for OpenVPN and uh, the configuration files for Linux. Uh, if you, if you want to set up the connection manually, this is where you get these configuration files. Okay. Back to the home page and now pros and cons real quickly just to wrap it up. Uh, pros, it's very stable, uh, very easy to use interface, very, very good prices. Um, cons, probably uh, they can introduce more protocols uh, and uh, check to see why we're unable to connect to uh, some of the servers. This is not a good sign. Uh, usually you're supposed to be able to connect to any server. Uh, part of the pros also, we can put that they are, uh, it, it doesn't take much time to connect. It, it connects really fast, uh, faster than other uh, VPN providers that we've dealt with. Uh, in this application, it connects pretty fast. Um, another con is the uh, they don't have a 24/7 uh, online support. So there, yes, they do have a chat, a customer service chat, uh, customer support chat service. However, it's not available 24/7, which is uh, which is not that good of an option since. Uh, you, they probably have users all over the world. Their timings would be completely different. So, for example, if uh, these customer, if the customer support work at a certain timing, that in another country across the globe, that timing could be like very late at night. So they're not online. Whenever they need their help, they won't find them because they only come online at very awkward timings uh, for them. So we don't consider this, uh, we consider this one of the cons or one of the disadvantages of Versa VPN. Other than that, it's a really good uh, VPN service and also compared to its price, it is really, really, really good. Um, uh, another disadvantage that we can uh, state is that they don't, uh, provide uh, a kill switch or an internet kill switch, which is provided with most of the uh, VPN uh, VPN services that we've come across. Now, kill switch is important for one reason: is that if for any reason the VPN connection drops, uh, for any reason, uh, that kills or locks the internet connection overall 
to protect uh, the information, uh, the user's information, or to prevent any leak of data. Now, this option, this feature, we can't see it here in uh, anywhere in the application. Another feature that that's not there, the automatic server selection, that it allows you to just click on automatically select, uh, select the fastest server, and it selects it. That's not available here. However, that's not a very uh, important or very critical uh, feature. And they also, what they do is that if a connection is not available, it just switches to uh, uh, to another available connection. However, not the fastest connection. Uh, we do know that Australia wouldn't be the the best uh, the best option for us at our location at the moment. Uh, however, this is the server that it chooses to connect to if uh, if the other server is not available or we're unable to connect to it. So these are the disadvantages. However, besides uh, besides those disadvantages or despite those disadvantages, it is still a really good service. We give it a really strong 8 out of 10. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, all of it. Well, uh, thank you for watching.